I took a seriously needed break from the battle jump rope and it helped me get in even better shape. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you why I switched up my workout and how it can help you get in even better shape. While I love the battle jump rope, it helped me get in great shape and was a definite need during the pandemic when I couldn't really get dumbbells and you couldn't go to the gym, I definitely needed to switch up my workout. Now this isn't to say that the battle jump rope was bad or was hurting me. It was just time for a change. And here's why. I really wanted to put on muscle. And one thing I always tell you, jump ropes aren't made for you to get more muscle. It isn't necessarily made for you to get stronger. It's made to get you some lean muscle. And even the battle jump rope at six pounds or nine pounds or three pounds isn't going to help you bulk up. So, I definitely tried to focus more on bulking up this till round, just get ready for the summer. Now it's time to get back lean, so it's time to pick back up the battle jump. I also wanted to prevent overuse injuries. There's a reason why you get hurt when you put your body through the same motions over and over again. It's called a repetitive strain injury. This type of injury often occurs when doing lots of repetitive motions such as running, hitting a tennis ball, jumping rope, or performing the same swim stroke. By mixing your activities, you give those overused muscles, joints, and ligaments a chance to rest and recover before putting them into action again. And if you get injured, performing a different activity that doesn't strain the same part of the body which can allow you to work on other parts of your body which can let you both recover and get in shape at the same time another thing i wanted to make sure that didn't happen to me is i don't get bored of the jump rope i know there's always new tricks to do and new things to do but i want to switch it up and get back excited about working out you want to just do something new you want to try to speed rope maybe Maybe you wanna to try to do a little tricks and get a beat to jump rope, lift some weights, bulk up. I just didn't wanna get bored of working out, so I had to switch it up from using the battle jump rope because it really didn't help out with my current goal. If the battle jump rope isn't helping you with that current goal, you shouldn't use it. You have a goal of bulking up, the battle jump rope isn't for you. If you have the goal of getting more lean, the battle jump rope is perfect for you. One way to get in shape is to never be bored of your workout. It's to switch it up in case your brain starts to get bored of this workout. Now you don't want to do this every day, but you do want to switch it up every now and again just to make sure you're not bored of your workout. And this will help you want to do it all the time. While I love using the battle jump rope as a really fun workout, I did want to make sure that I didn't plateau. When you do the same activity all the time, your body gets used to it and becomes very efficient at doing that workout. Eventually, that adaptation will mean that you will burn fewer calories even when you're doing the same amount of exercise. I wanted to challenge my body in a new way that it's not used to. My body will have to get used to working harder as it adjusts to new activity, which means I'll burn more calories when I work out. Another reason was I live on the East Coast and it's cold outside and perhaps I don't want to go out in 20 degrees and jump rope and using it inside isn't always the greatest thing with the battle jump rope there isn't a lot of space in where I live you can use the rope inside if you have enough space but I didn't and I had to make do with what I had what I had was a gym a big room and I could jump rope down there but I couldn't really use the battle jump rope because of the size of the ceilings and I didn't want to break anything with a six pound rope constantly hitting a wall or the floor or something like that. I had to make sure I set it up and made it feasible for me. If it isn't feasible for you at that time, don't use the rope. There are other heavy rope options, like I have my cross rope and it's about one and a half pounds. Not quite as heavy as the battle jump rope, but it does help out a lot. A very good alternative that I found to the battle jump rope is wearing an eight pound weighted vest and using a regular jump rope. It's a little different than using a weighted jump rope, but it is a fun alternative that you can do inside easily. Check the link below if you wanna know more about this alternative. Now I am back in battle jump rope mode. It's about to be summertime and it's start to get lean, get my abs right, and get beach ready. And if you're trying to get beach ready right now, check out this video right here. I'm sure to help you. And as always, just start. We're about being perfect later. Peace.